In this video, I'm going to talk about creating scatter plots and adding equations using the given data set of CTA. Uh, as you see over here, the data set displays uh, the year between 1995 and 2007, as well as the price uh, on the second column. So, um, using this given data set, I'm going to show you how to create scatter plots and then uh, we're going to create equation. First, you're going to highlight all the data sets, including the title, quite highlights these two columns. Then, um, click insert on the top left corner. Also, click uh, the graph. Scatter gra graph here at the middle, top middle, click the down arrow. You may choose uh, the fifth graph. And as you see here on the right corner of the graph, there is a plus sign. Click on the plus sign. Also, click on trend line at the very bottom here. All right. Then you have more option. As you see at the very end, click more option. Now we're gonna see three icons. So you're gonna select the last icon, which is a trade line option. It looks like a bar graph. So you're gonna click on it. So you have more option. As you see here, there are different equation on graph. There are different graphs. So we're gonna click on linear first. All right then by going down you're gonna choose or you're gonna check display equation at the very bottom and display r squared value on charts this can help you to create correlation coefficient the last one all right now as you see here on the graph we have a linear equation let me make it a little bit larger click at the center highlight it make right click and go back to home yeah Let's increase the size as better. All right, now next we're gonna create also quadratic equation. Let's create another equation. All right, now you're gonna choose polynomial. This is a fourth graph. Click on the polynomial, which is a second degree. Uh, the same way you're going to click the last set intercept we don't need this one we need to check display equation and display r square value on the charts now as you see here on the graph we have the quadratic equation let's highlight it and increase the size All right, here we go. Now we have both linear equation and quadratic equation for the given data set. So what does it mean? As you see here, R square is a correlation coefficient. So when we apply linear equation, R square is 0.7959. And when we apply quadratic equation, the R square is 0.9225. So the relation, the coefficient relation that's closer to number one is the quadratic equation model. It has more strong uh, correlation coefficient because the R squared value is closer to number one. Okay. So whenever you see the coefficient correlation is very close to number one, that's where you're gonna see strong 
uh, model equation. So we're going to choose the quadratic equation as our base model. So we can say here quadratic equation model is the best one for the given data set. All right. And made as this one, increase the size. All right. Here you go. So to summarize, we have a data set of year and the home price and using a scatter plot and coefficient correlation and equation, we find out that the quadratic equation model is the best model to explain how the data set is strong enough with respect to correlation. So the data set shows us that there is a very strong relationship between the year and the home price. That means as the year increases, the home price also increases. So there is a very strong relationship or strong positive correlation exists between the year and home price. Thank you for watching. Have a good day, guys.